Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. Today it's time for Fracture Hills. And then lunchtime. For me at least. Um Fracture Hills might actually be a kind of a short run today. So depending how I'm feeling after doing Fracture Hills, we may move on to something else. But you'll just have to wait and see. At this present point it's just speculation. Anyway, straight on to Fracture Hills it is. Alrighty, Fracture Hills. Another interesting level. Not one of my favoured levels, but uh, it has some good good parts to it. Yeah, I usually uh, skip those cutscenes, but for the sake of viewers, I'll keep them in there. They get kind of tedious after viewing about six of them. Um, enemies are kind of weird on this level. <laughs> totally thought I had that guy. Whoa, there goes another one. So I just pretty much uh, established the practice of flaming every single bush I come across. That's two down. So yeah, I never... <laughs> I know I haven't like talked to any of the, uh, or hardly any of the, um, initial quest giving. <sighs> Damn you, fall! Uh, the initial quest giving characters uh, in any of the levels thus far. I mean, I've talked to a few, but that's mainly just because I've accidentally run into them. Um, but yeah, essentially. They're actually pretty funny in uh, Fracture Hills. They're quite entertaining. Um, oh, damn bees. This is not good. I need a pig. I need some bacon. Thank you, bacon, for restoring my health. If only bacon in the real world would do that. And really can't be bothered with those guys just yet. What I don't like about Fracture Hills is it's a very unstructured level. Um, it has these two paths, essentially. Um, you have the upper path, but because the two path paths split right at the beginning, you can go either down in the lava area or along the hilltop. It gets kind of confusing as to what way you're supposed to go. Um, well, not really confusing, but there's a choice there, and sometimes choice can be a bad thing. That's, uh, I want, uh, 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 my words are broken today, again. Um, that's something I, I'll just release this guy first. Uh, 
Um, yeah, choice, uh, path choice, choices always kind of deter me from playing a game a little bit well, if I reach a certain point. It's mainly in like um, RPGs where you're given... Yeah, really sick of this. It's great to be free. Stop interrupting me talking. Um, when you're given like a, a choice of paths or like you open up a new city or area and there's suddenly a whole lot more quests that you have to do or are available to do. I don't know, it might be something that other people get, but sort of like you get an overwhelming... Uh, it's sort of overwhelming the amount of stuff that you've got to do, so you kind of like have to just step back and stop playing for a while. Um, I don't know, that might just be my weird thing. Anyway, this is, um, I'll grab the talisman. Uh, I should only be able to manage one orb quest today, and I'll explain later as to why that's the case. Yeah, just got uh, annoyed with those cutscenes, so skip the last couple. Um, I'll try to collect everything or as much as possible. Um, in terms of gems, but there are two orbs that I will save for after we get the head bash skill. One orb quest I can do now, but you have to repeat it to get the second orb quest, which requires head bash, so it's kind of annoying to do that again. Anyway, here's the talisman. Oh, hi, dragon boy. Uh, I really should, uh, I'll, I'll let one of the fawns, or those fawn girls, talk. Um, I'll go grab the other, the first orb quest. Let you listen to her dialogue because it's quite hilarious. Oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. And you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night. Okay, yeah, she's not a particularly good example. Um, and I don't have enough for the super power up. So this requires some inventive killing of rock monsters. Yeah, this is the other... I mentioned um, back when I was doing Magma Cone that uh, this is a slightly more unorthodox way of killing these guys. Um, it's not as clear-cut as having an X where you just have to push them back because some of these guys are actually annoyingly located uh, to easily push into... Um, the lava, like there are bits of... Ugh, God damn it, my, my brain is totally fried today. It might be the fact that I just finished my shift at work and <laughs> have immediately come home and fired this up to do Fracture Hills. <laughs> so I'm kind of tired. Oh, I totally lost what I was talking about. Oh yeah, and I'm just, yeah, what I was just saying is, um, those rock trolls, they're not always located conveniently next to a lava pit or something for you to quickly dispatch them. They re some of them require, uh, a lot of pushing. Anyway, I've got enough spirit orbs so we can do this quest for the orb. Ah, oh, damn it. Just my luck to be distracted by gems. I kind of like this orb challenge, even though it is a bit twisty turny. Um, <laughs> it's quite fun. I actually tried doing it like this for many hours uh, when I first played this. But no, the only way you can do it is to go the long way, unfortunately. You have to do like a complete circuit of the level. Coming 
right around. It's actually really easy. Just to break that door open. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please take it. She's slightly more entertaining. <laughs> um, but I think it was the one that gives you the talisman has the most entertaining dialogue. Anyway, just for the sake of frustration, we have to go around again on this to try and break that uh, strong box I um, showed you before. I didn't actually mention anything when I s came across it, but ah, the bastardization of it all. <laughs> it's this is a very frustrating. Um, use of the supercharge and will possibly take me hours unlikely but it'll take me a wee bit There we go. <laughs> Not quite as dastardly as I initially thought. Um, I've gotten quite a lot of practice at that. I just, uh, yeah. That's the method. It's straightforward. It's really comes down to the timing of your angle when you jump off the bridge uh, as to the ease with which you can um, angle your way to the door. Ah. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There are far more frustrating challenges in Spyro 2. Um, this is quite an annoying one with all these rock monsters gathered around here and no lava. There is a reason for that. The first quest is, of course, Hunter being stupid, like he always has got himself tra trapped in stone there. So the first part of the orb quest is, of course, to... Uh, get the alchemist, escort him past these guys who like to stab you in the face and stab him in the face. Um, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> so that's hard enough in itself. The next challenge is of course, uh, once you've freed Hunter, to go around and uh, actually permanently kill all these guys. Um, Hunter shoots them, knocks them over, and then you have to use head bash, head bash to uh, take them out completely. Which is kind of an intricate and annoying challenge because uh, the degree to which you can smack them with head, uh, head bash varies um, depending on your angle of approach. Like sometimes you get a perfect jump right on top of them, or you'll jump too far, or yeah, you won't go far enough. Anyway, I'm going to call that a day for Fracture Hills and retire.